Hello once again dudes and welcome to another javascript or awesome javascript tutorial with mill and in this tutorial we're going to have about date objects so why should we wait why don't we get started so I'm going to create uh, a function or not function um I can't remember what are they called what are they called I guess they're called uh I don't know. I'm just going to create like you know one of these. Uh, give it a name, and I'm going to set this equals to new date. Now let me explain. What this basically does is we. I know this is not a variable. I'm just calling it a variable, right? And we're setting it equals to new date. And this means that we're going to be working with fresh date um data. So let's go ahead and get get working with it. I'm going to create a few, uh, you know, variables. Save it in local time, global time, and uh, the global time, uh, local time is equal to now to string. And what this basically means, it means that, uh, and actually, I'm going to set this equals to um, now to GMT string. Let me explain this. What this basically is telling is we're going to get the local time. That's what we're calling the variable, kind of right. And we're saying it is now to string. So this basically means um, that it's like uh, how can I explain it? It's like um, th th this is actually variable. Oh yeah, I remember these are variables. Uh, but what is important? is that um, ba ba basically means that it holds a value that is readable for JavaScript. This means that we have some uh, like yeah um, how can I explain it? What it holds is the value of local time and global time but it's holding it in a string uh, and I I probably already told you if, if, what a string is, and if it didn't, I'm going to yeah, we're going to have more about it in a later tutorial, anyways. So don't you worry, guys. So let's go ahead and add some document right, so it will print out our source actually. Um, so two will probably do. So inside here, I'm going to type in a bold local time. Uh, can't remember. Actually, and uh, we'll need to uh, close it again, of course, and make a little space so it looks ni more nicely. And uh, we'll add two plus signs, so this means we're calling, um, uh, you know, the variable and adding a brick tag after it. All right, so we're going to add more stuff. We're going to add global time. This is also called UTC time. Um, I'm going to call it global though, and uh, end it again. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put it here for the sake of order. And inside here, we of course going to type in global time. And over here, I'll type in uh, yeah br again. Actually, yeah, that that's pretty reasonable. All right, so let's go ahead and create some more variables. Now I'm going to create one called hours mins and sex for uh, hours minutes and seconds all right so in hours we're going to get now which basically in all in JavaScript generally means like here we're getting what it is now and what not what it is tomorrow um, get and I'm saying that hours and uh, that's be and this means uh, get minutes and uh, now get seconds and what this basically does it's what it's saying it's get we're creating three variables to hold the whole information of the hours that is now and the s minutes that is now and the seconds now and this is all local time this is right now so if you have the clock clock messed up um then yeah you know this is good and uh, i'm living in a country called denmark and you don't need to worry too much about it but what it is right now might not be what it is uh, in your time but that shouldn't really matter. Um, so let's go ahead and create fund size. So we're going to single quotation marks so we don't confuse it. 
Yeah, I'm going to set this equals to five. This is just you know pretty nice. Um, so we're going to create another document, right? And actually, I'm going to create three of them. We we'll probably need three. And uh, here I'm going to type in hours plus, and then we should probably add like here looks nice, and inside here mince. So we're calling all the variables, and inside here. Finally, we'll plus it with uh, seconds. So, and uh, down here, of course, we'll be ending our fun tag. So, basically, now we have all the date and all you know, uh, the time uh, functionality saved. So, depending on which language your browser is set to, it will come up in that language. Um, mine is set to Danish, but I'll translate it. It's this is the time in Denmark right now. This is what we printed out here, and this is the local time, uh, which is uh, what it is down below here. You can see this is the time, and it's saying it's Friday, February um, the seventeenth, two thousand and twelve, and then it's coming up with all you know kind of crap. And the global time it's the same, but it's our backwards, you know. So basically. We have all the information now, so that's all we need. So basically, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.